Oh. Yeah. You're very sensitive to oh. some of your fears. You just ignore it. Which is either F E uh in INFPs or ENFPs. It's like you're you are you have strong functions in those, but you just don't value it. Like like me with FI. Yeah. And me with mm-hmm. FI and FI. Yeah. 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 Flicker. What? Flicker. To do what? What? Like, <laughs> I'm failing right now. I'm just saying, like. What? Like, I'm failing right now. Failing what? Like, at something. My dude Holy is- shit, <laughs> the ambiguity. I worked today. That was fun. I went grocery shopping before work. I bought some fucking coconut peanut butter. It's organic shit. It's fucking amazing. Okay, here. This is a thing. Yeah. Responsible. That sounds like a really good day that you got things done. I didn't get that much done, though. I just worked and went grocery shopping. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of feels good to, like, go grocery shopping and then, like, get you and be like, yeah. Can you show me the stuff below, too? Yeah. I think it's, uh... That's not... No. You have hard aspects of your Venus? I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know what any of this means. So, well, I mean, this is kind of new. You know when you, like, went on on camera with that wig and you were like, I want attention and stuff? That's not what an INFP does. <laughs> What if it's like a very outgoing INFP? No, that doesn't. You're Oakham's razor man. You're a fucking ENFP. Just stop. Like I don't like people. No, I don't like people either. But fucking ENFP. Oh my god, liking people or not doesn't define whether you're an extrovert or an introvert. And it's also not like social versus not social. Look at the fucking functions. You're TI polar. You're not SE polar. Well, like, I get drained by interacting with people for too long. So do I! You're a human being. <laughs> You're a I human being. That I'm an introvert. Self too much. <laughs> the reason why you probably get drained because of or interacting with people is probably because you're empathetic as fuck. So you probably feel what other people are feeling a little bit. It's just like the difference when they say like, oh, do you like being around people? It's like, well, it's like, you know, I don't really like being around people, but like the experience you might have a lot of times is being around negative people. And so if you're empathetic at all, you might want to get the fuck out of there. Okay, there we go. That is the full image. Well, not the full image, but you know what I mean. Like that's yeah. the other part. Oh. You have moon. No. You have uh, Jupiter square ascendant. You have sun square midhaven. And you have moon sextile Venus. What does this all mean? <laughs> uh, Google it. Okay. I read somewhere recently that people say that ENFJs are introverted, and I bet the first time I've ever heard it. <laughs> Wait, how did you tell just by looking at that, though? Like, um, the chart thing, the symbols. 
Okay. Time is Hey, Zach, that yeah. hate is directed at you. Why don't you react? What? I greeted you very strongly. I said hello. Oh. After I said your name. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. It's, it's, it's too late, Zach. <laughs> Zach, it's too late. You're a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I didn't fucking react quick enough. Sorry. You look good. What's what's going on? I haven't I haven't touched my hair since I it's just been growing out randomly. No, you look happy. That's good. <laughs> I, I, I feel like for Liz, instead of having the notice me senpai sort of thing going on, she's like, I am senpai, now notice me. No? You're not following it? Maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, hold on. I'm trying to... Oh, you look so happy, I don't know why. Are you in a good place right now? I I took four Benadryl like two hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> you look like really like uh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took some pills a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I've been I've been feeling decent. I'm a little bit sore from work and stuff though. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I actually took the Benadryl because I got bitten by a bunch of mosquitoes yesterday. So far it has. They don't itch. What? That? Well, it could be placebo too, since that was my intention, right? Right. I want to do some Android. When I see bored, I mean, I'm bored. I just need to like physically go do something. Go walk and buy a sandwich or something. You want to like not social nothing to people. What? I said I need to do it with people. When I say physical, I don't actually mean physical because I could just be working or something. Like I think we need like some sort of energy release. Mm. Yes, Ken? <laughs> uh, hold on, give me a second. I know, but come here for a second. I, I know, I know, but. Oh, hey, Zach. Hey. Hey, Zach. Hey, Josh. How's it going? Ah! Going all right. Not really, but it is. What? <laughs> no, it's, 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 today's a better day than yesterday, which was a better day than today. Oh, so you're on an uptick. I'm feeling more positive than I was three days ago, and more than I was yesterday. And more than you were a few hours ago. You mean about you mean about twenty minutes ago? No, not more than I was twenty minutes ago. <laughs> but um, I, I've got I've got I've got to go for a second, but I will be back. Uh, both of you, don't leave and don't do anything I wouldn't do. I, I might leave. There is, there is. 
on that uh, on that website you posted. Um, how can I? Uh, oh yeah. How, how can I find? Um, Here, I'll look at your your thing. Yeah, you. I, didn't, I didn't see it listed anywhere because it's not like it's not like uh, which one you had listed. Hold on. You had Jupiter square Saturn. Like it wasn't um. Wasn't oh, but like I, that. It was, it was something else. I saw Neptune last night. Really? Yes. Yeah. Huh? You saw Neptune? No, no. Um, we were talking about um, online dating, and we both mentioned that we had an OK Cupid account, and I've seen pictures of him. Oh yeah, I've seen pictures of him too. Yeah. It was the first time I'd ever seen a picture or photo of him before. I saw pictures of him the first time I started talking to him, like the first night I met him. I just saw pictures of him, which is apparently like really not common for here. So, yeah, I, I felt like a bit honored. But anyway, um, I I will be back, and um, if I don't see you again, um, Zach. It's fucking cold in here. Wow. Cold in here too. I need to put my sweatshirt back on. But I'll be back. Okay. Love you guys. Love you guys. I love you too. I know you do. That was unnecessary. <laughs> I know, but I couldn't help myself. Is it really that cold? Are you just running like the AC full blast or? No, it's just, it's, oh, the fan's on. It's just, uh, it's cold outside right now. Where do you live again? In Canada. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> um. So, like, Tay had me use a different site, Liz, but uh. Ugh. No, Tay was telling me that apparently my my dominant aspect is a uh, Mercury and Aquarius. Uh. Oh, like you're mm, okay. So I was looking at something different. Oh, I know what she did. Maybe is Benadryl a benzo? I don't think so. I'll give you a second. Why is my friend back? Okay. So, what were you saying that Tay did? Every day is astrology day, Audra. Honestly, the past like four times I've been in here, astrology has come up. Mostly because it's been with uh, Ken and Penny, and we just like talk about well, that, 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 that's It's just funny I'm... because me and Jake is like, I don't remember who was telling us about it, like Tay or somebody a few months ago or weeks ago or whatever. And so we obsessed over it for about six hours. What? <laughs> What's your sign? Do which? She's a. Uh... Oh, shit. Where? I had to think. Uh, and my son or whatever is Cancer, and my moon is Gemini, and the rest I don't remember. But I'm happy to link people the random chart or whatever. Yeah, do it. I want you to it. Oh, I don't remember. Let me find it. It's always interesting to hear people pontificate. Oh, I love Ubi. I want him back. Where is he? <laughs> Keep it around so I don't have to remember any of these things. I'm gonna unlock the 
Yeah. I mean, the recording's already messed up until it fixes it. How do you, uh, how do you look smart? Well, you don't look like an idiot. What does an idiot look like? Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Okay. That's right, Jacob. It was easy. It was a nice. It was a nice. Yeah, TI vacation, right? Yeah, uh, Audra is Cancer Sun, Gemini Moon, Virgo Ascendant. Uh, oh, Gemini Moon and Mercury. Look at that. Oh, wait. Oh. Wait, you guys Wait, was it to your heart's content? Ew, what the fuck? Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody looked at it and said that it didn't even make any sense. I was funny. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, as far as the time, were you born at 10 exactly? Very close to it, yeah. Yeah. I find it I was, how for the for how the name you put Nightblade and Sex Mail. Oh, you have Mars and Luna too. And what? For the name and the sex, you put Nightblade and Mail. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'm very probably the default yeah. option, and Nightblade is one of my usernames I use. <laughs> the case that I played. She's doing an astrology chart. She's like, yeah, I'll play this game. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally a game. You're like, let's see, what, what username shall I use for this game? Oh my fucking god, I'm having a deja vu. It's intense. <clears throat> Do you ever just like dream about something and then it ends up happening? But like way later, and then you're just like, oh yeah, I dreamed about this before. Yeah. It's always a weird feeling too, whenever that happens. It's like, why is this happening? Okay, so what the heck did you do on Astro Matrix, Liz? Because like I'm trying to figure out how it correlates. I didn't do it on Astro Matrix. I did it on Astro.com. Um, but the... But you linked me to Astro Matrix. Don't be playing with me. No, I just linked you the script in the slides. Right. Yeah, I was just trying to find on Astro Matrix if there was one for me, but I don't know if I can find it. I think I realize why I'm so unsettled uh, right now. Like, why? Oh, I, I, I have been taking my shoes off, and I was going to go visit my friend, and I was like, I'm going to go visit my friend. I'm just going to eat from him and go. And uh, I still haven't done anything else. Yeah. Abe? No. Uh, Abe, I don't know if I want to be your sugar daddy. I mean, because if I'm going to be your sugar daddy, I'm going to fuck you, and I don't think I really want to fuck you. So. You have money? <laughs> <laughs> that would help as well.
Right. Oh, is she staying here now? Yes. No, you're here now. She's staying here. Oh, it's just the next week. Yes, it's this weekend. This weekend. Um, it might be here Friday night. I have to work tomorrow or Friday or Saturday morning. Uh, we'll just be Saturday morning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I work Sunday at three. So like preferably don't be really loud for really late, but like as long as I can fall asleep at some point. Yeah, I get to sleep at some point. Yeah. Hey, is it my Uh yep. What up? Watch this like how long did the beard take? <laughs> years, two years, and I've trimmed it twice. Made like two major trims. Would you, uh, <clears throat> would you join a cult and give me some of your organs if I asked you to? <laughs> what? <laughs> don't, don't answer now. Think on it. I would not do that. <laughs> Do you think do you think maybe you're you're being coy and you're lying to me? You think maybe you would? Uh, I mean, I don't think there's an answer that I can give sure. to that that you would accept. Yes. How do you understand? know? Yeah. That is that is that that is an unnecessary assumption for you to make. You know, it's, it's, the basic fact that you're asking that question is being coy and lying to you anyway. Mm. So even though I said no, you'd be like, oh, well, you're just being coy and lying. So the answer is so either Not, un unless I was unless I was being facetious and saying that you were coy. And yeah. No, Mark. I mean, this kind of happens. You're going. You're in. Okay. Bye. He seems uh, well adjusted in a sort of normal way. <laughs> He's not gone yet. He seems well adjusted in a normal way. <laughs> Shake up. I don't know what that means. I feel like I should. Like, you ever have sex with a dude and make beard over there, stand in the corner and watch you two? No. <clears throat> Tell Damien I say hey. Tell him to grow his beard back. Yeah, Liz, Abe is trying to. It's trying to fuck at you. You what? your name. What's my favorite candy? I don't know, like sour teas or something, maybe? Or warheads? I really like warheads. I like warheads. I like sour and spicy candies. Sour and spicy? Not, not not both necessarily at the same time. It's like those are the two categories of candy flavor. I like sour stuff. 
you know, like, so, so, so you like, you, you like Sour Patch Kids and Hot Tamales? Yeah, those are both pretty good. I feel like Sour Candy doesn't bring out the FD. I like Hot Tamales, I think. But no, I don't. I don't know what those are. I lied. They look like, my, they, they're Mike and Ike's, but they're all red, and they're cinnamon and, and like, hot. I feel like I'd eat them, but I would never seek them out. About to straight up Mike and Ike's for Starbursts. You like Starbursts? They're all right. I like salty things better than sweet things. TB8. It's true. <laughs> I know, but. Oh shit! I have ice cream here. Do you have any like pretzel crackers or just pretzels? I have beet crackers. Oh, I was just saying. You know, maybe you could. Mix even a bit more salty with the, uh... That would be really good. Honestly, I might even just do it with the beef. Mm. My friends and I used to be really weird when in high school. We dipped french fries in our ice cream. You ever, uh, you ever taken beet powder and just chucked it on top of a decomposing carcass of a possum on the side of the road and just gone to town on that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta, you gotta, gotta really free yourself with that kind of stuff. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't. Don't gotta. The joke's over, Liz. You don't have to keep carrying it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, Oh, what? Should I make curry tonight? Maybe. I'll probably just make that one. Some guy on Tinder messaged me um, on my profile, so something about me being, oh, I said I'm probably weirder than you, and then he messaged me, and he's like, probably not weirder than me, but maybe, I can get pretty damn weird, let me tell you, and I said, let's have a competition, whoever loses buys coffee, bring your wallet, because you're totally going there. 
Where's Abe? Abe is gone. Yo, Liz, is that uh, is that page A? Excuse me. That's what Terry sent you. Yeah, I didn't use it myself, but she she asked for my info and she put it in. Okay. I'm gonna mute myself and go off the video and take a shit and do this, and I can still hear you. Extra pyramidal. What does that mean?
<laughs> that was the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> Talk to me. Tell me your name. That's it. That's all I remember the song. Other than she bang, she bang. Oh, baby, how she move, she go. Maybe crazy, oh, she look like a flower, but she sting like a bee. I'm singing it away because I'm doing the William Hunt version. <laughs> Post the music that I would like. I demand it. Talk to me, Zach. I said, post me a music I would like. Oh, I thought you were saying you were going to post music. No. I was demanding it of you. <laughs> post a music you would like. What kind of music you like? That's part of this whole demand. You've got to try and guess. Or... Uh so, you definitely won't like the music I like, so. Well, I'll link you this, because it's related to my, uh, Can you guys hear that music? Barely. But you can't hear it? Uh, vaguely. Not consistently. My voice just broke when I when I said that. Oh dear. I don't really know you that well, but I want to.
Like, I want to disagree, but I always like people more when there's. Hey, Mom. How you doing? Carolyn, send your birth chart. I want to see your natal chart. Did you just call Mom? <laughs> Yeah, she's my mom. Oh, okay. You know what, Liz? Carolyn was giving me positive emotional feedback ever before you were here. Yeah, but she just loves me more than you, so it's fine. This is true, Carolyn. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> she has to love her daughter more than some random guy. You love me more than Ken. Where were you born? What city? Chi-town? Chicago, she said. So what about that uh, that question there, Carolyn? That's bullshit. I call bullshit. Both the same, Jesus. That's a, that's a pro-mom answer. That's offensive. That makes me like... Really mad. I can't. I can't tell. If she's. Uh, she's repeating my name, or she's deciding that that I win. Yeah. Wow, you're not my mom anymore. Thank you, Carolyn. It's okay, Carolyn. You can be my mom. I promise I'll be low maintenance. Oh, well, let me see the lights on the Zach. Zach. Yes. You love me, right? What do you mean? Define love first, and then I can answer in the affirmative or negative. Any way you want to. Uh, well, if, it, if any definition goes, then I simultaneously do and do not love you, Liz. Um, how do you want to define it? Do you love me? <laughs> define it for me and then tell me if you love me. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> Liz, I, you know... I enjoy your presence. If enjoyment of someone's company is love, then yes, I love you. <laughs> I really appreciate that you said that, Carolyn, because I don't always remember what positive things I do for people. So thank you. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Doesn't remember. <laughs> I can say things like that, and they still come out nice. August That song was good, Ken. It gave me fission. I hmm. want to give you a song now, but I don't think you're gonna like. I, I don't like. Just, just okay. post it. Don't worry about if I'm gonna hate you or not. Just post it. 
gonna hate me, but I want you to make something. Well, whatever. Zach, which one are you listening to? Mine? Wait, did something happen? Hello. Yeah, that's that's it's pretty interesting, Liz. It's very uh, um, it's far out, Liz. It's far out. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> not my, not all my songs are all my music's like that. Oh, that's a good song, Tame Impala. Who just linked that? A Corey. I'm gonna see Tame Impala this summer. This is another song I like, but I'm not sure if I'm into it. Ken, I've noticed that a lot of the music you like has this kind of like, um, I want to use the word like progressive, but it has this like uh, undulating like drive, like forward. You what said I look that. for in my music? Wait, me? No, Ken. Oh, I look for something. Maybe not drive. But, like, I look for something about movement too. I'm not. I'm not explaining it very well. It's kind of like you see it a lot in like uh, certain types of like heavy metal and stuff, and in some electronica and stuff. Where you, uh, I don't know what scale it is. Maybe it's pentamic. I don't know. But it's it's got this like forward driving progression to it that is like uh, like like waves building up and crashing over each other on a shore or something. Yeah, I, I really like that feeling in music. Yeah. <clears throat> was it you that linked Tim and Paula or Corey? I think that was Corey. The one that you opened. Tim and Paula. Feels like we're only going backwards. I think that was the song he linked. Or someone linked. I just heard it. You just played it. That's why I was well, right now I'm listening to what Ken posted second. What was that? Lovely Room by Richelieu. Richelieu? Is that it? Richelieu. Okay. But I bring that up anyway, Ken, because I, I like that too. And I, and I see it a lot in uh, progressive trance or um, especially full on. Um, Psychedelic trance. Some good shit.
play my song, Corey? He's got the uh, the tube noises. Sorry. I'm texting my friend and I forgot that I wasn't on mute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 